Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD supervised video. So we are still on the highway stack, version 12.5.4.3 and uh, the 5.6.3, the sorry about that. So yeah, we're uh, going to test now a separate highway, a different highway than the one the, right before. So I saw a lot of views for the last video, so I uh, appreciate all of that and I appreciate the new subscribers. So if you guys have been uh, following me and liking my videos, I really appreciate that. That really helps me out a lot. Uh, we are doing a different highway today. This is the Stony Trail Highway in Calgary. And this is basically a ring road that goes around the um, the whole perimeter of the, of the city. And uh, what we're doing right now is we're going to use that and then we're going to loop around and go to the, um, uh, the, the Deerfoot Trail Highway, which is a separate highway. So it was a piece of the same highway from the last video. But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be in a different direction and a new way of a uh, new uh, route. So that'll be interesting. So let's see how it deals with this uh, roundabout over here. This is all FSD driving right now. It's doing it very well. No hesitation at all with those vehicles that are stopped there yielding for us, which is the perfect way of how this is supposed to be driving. So if you folks uh, have any suggestions on other, um, on other things that you want me to do with this, uh, full sub driving version please let me know in the comments below so here we are coming up to the ramp now uh, interesting it's showing me a max 40 over here I'm not too sure why uh, and yeah I'm not really sure what uh, what speed profile I'm on it's signaling and merging into the highway which is nice Ooh, what is this roll up or down to adjust maximum speed uh, max left or right to adjust driving profile that's a pretty cool message over there we haven't seen that before so uh, we're on hurry and it immediately went to the second lane and it's boosting up. Let's see if it's gonna, it's gonna change lanes again. And uh, it's going to overtake, this is really nice. Okay, we are at 120 kilometers per hour right now, 20 over, this is well enough to get the cops uh, attention. So what I'm going to do right now is, let's see if actually, so I am at 140 max, as you can see over here. It does reset back once you, uh, once you engage FSD again. So if you adjust this, for example, to 130 or whatever, it's going to reset again next drive. So that's what uh, what I noticed right now. So that's something new or good to be uh, worry, wary about. Uh, so now that we are doing 120, I'm not really comfortable with that. Let's set it back to standard and see what it's going to set its speed at. So it's set... Uh, it, found the gap and it went to the second lane so it did a really good job over there uh, very happy with that but the speed is still over well over my comfort zone um, so there we see right now it's decreasing its speed slowly oh and it's choosing to overtake so interesting enough there's a lot of comments in my previous video saying that it's not very consistent with the other users and uh, I understand where that comment comes from uh, I've, if you've seen Chuck's videos or uh, Dirty Tesla's videos, you can see that on hurry and uh, standard, it's a little bit different than my hurry and standard. On my hurry, on my standard, it still takes the fast lane and goes 120 kilometers per hour. So let me bump down the max speed and see if that makes any difference. So I bumped it down to 120 right now. Let's see if it makes a difference here. No, no difference at all. So if I bump it down even more, that's when it starts forcing itself to slow down. So if it forces itself to slow down, let me see what happens in terms of um, lane positioning here. Are we still going to be on the fast lane or is it going to realize that it's going too, too fast? Let me bump it down to another 110, let's say. I really like that we can play around with the speed. Um, so right now we're doing 110 on standard. We really have to be on the second lane, not the overtaking lane. Let's give it a few minutes to see if it's going to make a, a change here. It doesn't seem like it. The behavior is not really speed related. It's always um, profile related. But with the profile, standard and hurry, they're both, it's both using that to pick the first, the fast lane. We've got five, six lanes, one, two, three, for five lanes, six lanes with the exit lane. So let me let me go ahead and do chill now. It immediately starts going back to to the second lane. So that's that's what I like over here. But now, 
it starts it's starting to choose to go to the furthest rightest lane or furthest right lane let's say slowest lane so yeah i'm gonna go bump back up the maximum speed here because i really think it doesn't really do much it's only if you want to drive uh on the hurry on the hurry lane at a set let's say 110 and not go further than that which is not very um which is not a very good way of you know be behavior for for a driver because you want to keep that overtake lane clear so now that it's in chill uh, we are hitting a, a 80 kilometer speed zone over here it's not going to detect it so i'm going to disengage actually for this uh i'm we've got some workers here on the right and i don't want to be an asshole uh, going too fast here in this area so okay so now we're back in business i'm going to re-engage and then let's go back to standard let's say let's see if it's going to pick up speed and go to the second uh, fastest lane no, it chooses to stay on the chill on the third lane over here. But it's picking up its speed and it's going well above 100, 110. I'm, I'm happy with 110, yeah, 112, maybe it's a little bit over here. Now we are coming up to an area over here where you, we have a merging, merging lane. And yeah, there we go. That's the, that's a big, uh, that's, <laughs> that was... That was a big break and oh i think we lost our video feed here i'm just going to do a quick reset here i'll speed you up through this process just to get my recording back up up and running okay so as our screen's booting up over here so yeah that behavior was very very not good so a very harsh break there was no cars behind us luckily enough i did uh, anticipate that because even the older stack it always clears that that merging lane it says uh, clear uh, moving moving lanes for merge, merging vehicles or something like that uh, that's the message that it gives it didn't give me any message over here at this time at this point or time but i did anticipate that it's going to slow down or change lanes and it actually boosted the uh, uh the brake pretty hard there so yeah so there you go guys um that was uh, very interesting we are coming up now to this bridge over here we're still on standard. I'm very happy that it's picking its second lane and I'm hoping it's gonna stick to this. Uh, I'm gonna keep it rolling right now. I'll speed up the process over here, speed up the video over here, unless there's any changes ha happening. So um, attention monitoring is active. Uh, I'm a happy guy right now. Okay, so right now we're going to have to actually exit out from here. So it is actually picking the right lane. The other thing that I find out in these, um, uh, in this new highway and the exits it doesn't typically uh, pick the right lane for the right exit and this is partly because of map data and this is a new highway so I completely understand that but uh, but yeah in this uh, in this point in time it's picking the right lane and we're taking the different trail exit over here and uh, yeah let's hope for the best so for now I'll keep it on standard and uh, I think once we get on the other highway I will probably pick it up uh, on hurry and then see how it's going to act on that. Uh, and then there's going to be an exit that got, comes on our right and we'll see if it handles that properly. Interesting enough over here, there's two lanes that are going through this highway and this off ramp, but it's picking up the first lane, the fastest lane. So um, yeah, if, you, if you're catching up on the speed and, uh, and the car in front of me, I'm happy that it's doing that, but um, yeah, that's, it's good. It's doing good so far. It's not slowing down or anything like that. Okay, so now we are coming into these filter lanes. This is a very uh, complex situation. We've got a merging vehicles from the right and we are gonna merge to the left. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'll probably put it on hurry and see if it's going to change lanes over here and pass through this whole uh, slew of traffic over here that I like, like it to pass through actually. So yeah, it's doing really good. I'm going to, I'm going to apply uh, force on my steering wheel here. Another nice overtake over here. I find the lane changes for overtaking and just lane changes in general way faster. Today I was driving the hard, hardware throw three car and it was way slower and sluggish. So yeah, there's definitely an improvement there. If you are looking for that improvement and you are anticipating that, you're going to get it. You're going to get it at some point. Hopefully when we get, when we get this version on hardware three soon. If not on this version, it'll probably be on V13. Okay, so we're in hurry right now. We're doing 120. There's still cars behind me. You can see 
there's a car that's uh, getting closer closer inching closer to me in the back so I'm not really comfortable over here so I'm going to do I'm gonna set myself back to standard and it's gonna put the signal on very nice so I, I don't know if it was because of the car behind me that is uh, kind of tailgating me or getting a little bit closer to my back and it anticipates that so it's it slows down and changes lanes or what it is all about so let's see we have another scenario over here where we have a where we have a yeah okay so this is a very weird situation so in this case we are inching in so let's say like almost a mile away from our exit i really wanted to change lanes and there we go so yeah i would have done exactly the same thing that truck was going too slow I was just gonna overtake it and then I'll change lanes and start making my way all the way to the right. Now it should start making its way all the way to the right. Yeah, and it's being too slow in that process. And now we've got cars over here that is gonna hinder us from exiting. Which to be fair, you've got two exit lanes over here. Yeah, it's not this one, it's the next one. So it's, it's actually doing it right. I'm just being a little bit too pushy here. And there we go, now we're getting the, the signaling here. It's nice that it cleared that exit and then it's the signal to go off to the right. So that means it's, it's if, that, if there's a lot of traffic going through that exit, it would have overtaken all that traffic, which is also a nice point there. So very good. Um, I'm so, so like shockingly happy with this, with this version. And uh, the Tesla AI team are coming up with new versions of FSD that is really really good they're really hitting the uh the issue at the you know like really resolving all the issues here um highway used to be like so bad and even though they took a long time for it to fix it come up with this with this highway stack um it's really good like it's uh, i think just a few adjustments all, all it needs and and uh it'll be uh, in a very good uh uh, it'll be very good for a very wide rollout and uh, hopefully it goes up to the navigate on autopilot folks with the enhanced autopilot uh, uh, software that they have hope you like uh, hope you guys like this video please hit like and please subscribe to my channel help me a lot um, I'll be pulling uh, put, putting this out uh, very soon and please do let me know and suggestions down below in the comments if you need any other um, routes that you want to suggest for me to drive so i hope you guys like this video and we'll see you in the next one have a nice day if you guys want to see the ending of the video over here where i go and uh, park here i'm just going to the gym Ooh, yeah there we go city stack not that great eh <laughs> let's put it back here and see if it does anything so yeah, it's a little bit erratic here. Oh, it should it should really slow down at that stop there. Let's see if it's gonna find a good parking spot here. Yeah, it's probably not gonna not gonna park itself. Okay, folks, we'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.